Hello. Hello. Hello, people of the world. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. Oh, that threw me off a bit then. That, that sort of like drum thing. I can't remember what I'm supposed to be playing. The Forgotten City, of course. Now then. Correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> Happy to be corrected all of the time. But I believe the Forgotten City was a modification for Skyrim. It may have even been a modification for another game, but I believe it was the modification for Skyrim that I played. If, you know if I remember correctly all right press any button <clears throat> right okay please help us avoid spoilers dear content creators as you'll discover this game is full of intrigue and plot twists please give your audience a spoiler warning before sharing content from beyond the white hallway so that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to. Sincerely, the Modern Storyteller Team. Now, so it doesn't say, it, they're not requesting that we don't show the content. What they're requesting is that we give a spoiler warning spoiler warning now if i had time i'd probably write it on a little bit of card and put it up because i'm not going to be making video edits I, I, that's not what i do i don't care see this and any other videos as a stream with no viewers maybe apart from yourselves if you've gotten this far um the reason why i started doing this is because streaming wasn't working out for me because my connection wasn't uh, good enough. Give me a sec. It's starting to hurt my ear. Right, let's have a look at the settings. Let's look for subtitles and what have are you. Subtitles, yes. Subtitles and conversation size normal. Yeah, we'll we'll do all that. That's fine. I didn't mean to go back. Thank you. Uh, I meant to go across to controls. Invert vertical look. Yes. Why is that not default? I I can't. I can't ever imagine anybody playing the other way round. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so a spoiler warning from for content beyond the white hallway let's find out what the ha white hallway is all about then three people over four years your support allows us to continue what we couldn't read it in time this is a mystery adventure with multiple endings it's it rewards thoughtful conversation Again, I can't fucking finish reading it. Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Oh my god, she seems really weird, doesn't she? Right, what am I supposed to be getting from this? Select your body type. Are you telling me that one of those is supposed to be male and one of them is supposed to be female? Oh, the hands. To be honest, 
that's not really a clear indication is it these days so let's go with slightly feminine hands then select your skin tone oh my god yeah we'll just do the usual thank you I'll do safe choices and well it's nice to meet you and I'm sorry to pry but any idea why you were floating down the river what's the last thing you remember right I, I don't remember anything I can't <clears throat> I can't come into a game and kind of pretend what I was supposed to be doing. All right, I'll just. Right. Oh, right. Hang on. This is a game mechanic where you choose the type of person that you are. So. Based upon the conversation, it says. If I was searching for ancient ruins, I'd be an archaeologist. Years of studying history give you occasional insights into the ancient world. Okay. <clears throat> I was on a covert mission. It means I'm a soldier. Soldier, you have a military issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. You'll have to use them judiciously since there's no way to get more. 10 bullets. I was on the run from the law. It means you're a fugitive. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet and you're 25% faster when sprinting. I barely remember anything. Your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. We'll do that. It does look like you took a pretty hard blow to the head. You're just lucky you've been given a second chance. Which is why I feel terrible for what I'm about to say, but I have a favorite. Of course. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is... I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Or I could just kill you and take your boat. Oh, of course. <coughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? Oh my god, have I got to do all this? <coughs> right, let's just go through each of them, right? What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. So you want me to go inside the ruins of somewhere, but you're not going to tell me your name? I've only got your word for it that there's somebody in there that I'm looking for. Okay. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. <laughs> All those Karen memes have really ruined that name, huh? Right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. Her whole look just looks weird. She just looks weird. Give me a second. I'm going to put that up there, just in case it goes across, or it's gone across any dialogue and I've missed out. Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. 
I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. What the fuck is this? Right. Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. What can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. <sighs> Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Or you could stand at a riverbank and have two people float down towards you. Fucking stupid. That's all the questions I had. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? No, I'm going to kill you and take your boat. Let's choose I'll pass, right? You can't do this one little thing for me. What kind of an ungra- Look, if you won't do it for me, do it for yourself. You want to know what you're doing here, right? I'm going in for the price of artifacts, but I'll keep an eye out for him. My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Is it an axe? Oh. A heavy duty battery powered flashlight. Right. <coughs> How do I use this flashlight? Where's the flashlight? Inspect sleeping bag. I was asleep on this not long ago. It smells of campfire smoke and sweat. An old wooden rowboat. Karen must have used it to rescue me from the river. Okay. And I can't go in the river. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. Back already? What's up? Oh, of course. What did you want to know? Oh, see. Oh, there's not much to tell. Oh, uh. Look, if you really want to. Great. What? Thanks again. And. Okay. Um, use that to raise your flashlight. Can I use it to hit people though? So you can zoom in. Into the ruins. It's got this weird sort of sound effect whereby there's a certain ambient sound file associated with part of the map. And once you get past a certain point, it changes and it's really distracting. Like by ear, you go back, you get to be here, it instantly cuts off, and then you go forward, and then there's another one. It's a very weird uh, water effect. It kind of makes it look like jellyfish. Oh. <coughs> um, ah, there's the jump. All right, so you can't jump up there then.
Use that to lower your flashlight. So before you come into a cave, they get you to raise your flashlight. When you're inside, they ask you to lower it. Right, that must be a way out, perhaps, because I can see there's a tunnel over there. See it there? Like, why would you have that in the middle of a cave if it wasn't an entrance? If that was just a, a water flow, why would you build? Why would you build a thing around it? Okay. Backpack examine. A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still it seems strange that Al left it behind. Well, how do you know it was Al? See if there's anything written underneath? No? Okay, leave item. Al's note, read. <coughs> I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long. Right. Well, that was stupid because I was listening to that. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, you who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Al Worth. Okay. Thank you, Al Worth. <clears throat> So is this the, the white corridor that I'm supposed to give uh, a spoiler warning for? Give me a second. Do excuse me. Okay, so somebody's whispering something in what? Latin. Spoiler warning. An ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. I figured that these seem to be very human <clears throat> suffering like uh, poses. They're, all, they're perhaps running or cowering in fear. Am I supposed to translate these to enjoy it, am I? A Roman gladiator mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? The possibility of being turned into gold, for example. Ah, 
Oh, you, right, you just walk up to... The, <clears throat> you just walk up to the door and they open. So what's the purpose of displaying your victims up on these high uh, mantles? Ow! A young Roman woman. It looks like she was begging for her life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eum prohibe. Whatever that is. Buy something from eBay. A Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Okay. Now then. Wouldn't it be a lot easier to just come in and start taking the statues? One by one. Maybe selling them. Something, you know. Once you've sold one of them, <coughs> you could come back. Oh, you fell in, didn't you? That's right. Maybe not then. A woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. So I can't jump off there. Okay. Ah. So I could roll these people. that what was that follow al's trail inscribed stone tablet take to whoever reads this i'm sorry you had to find me like this and worse she'll suffer the same fate i did i've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles searching for a way out the inscription was right there is no way back and here there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now, and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Okay, so did this guy hang himself off there and then somehow turn to gold afterwards? A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible?
golden statue. A young Roman woman in state of panic. Not a state of panic, in state of panic. Pinkty bonkty. Okay, right. So what's down there then? Okay. Excellent. Nothing. And there's no way out. Brilliant. <coughs> Do you need a game taste that uh, taster tester by any chance? Okay, so let's um, quit. You will lose unsafe progress. Yes, because I'm in a position where I couldn't fucking get out of, which was fucking stupid. <sighs> okay, right. Right, okay. Right, this is a bit better. Pick up the pace. Don't need to inspect these things now because it doesn't have any effect on the gameplay whatsoever. All right, let's read this thing again. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death and that godforsaken doorway into the past. We made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Right, okay. Maybe it's best not to uh, to piss about in case I trap myself somewhere else I can't get out of. No, that's it. Here we go. Fucking hell, all right. Step through the doorway into the past. Right, I'm in the past then. Okay, let's try putting that over there so that you don't miss out on stuff. Figure out how to return to your original time. A Roman relief depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. All right, that's up there then. I was looking at a tomato, I thought. Beetroot or something. Now, that was the guy who was on his knees begging for begging God or something, wasn't he? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? What, what, what the fucking what? 
Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? <sighs> uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait, are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Is, is that a fucking... Right, okay. We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the Empire are you from, exactly? Hey, not so loud. Just saying that name could land you in trouble here. If you haven't heard, his cultists burned down half of Rome last year. Horrible business. I heard Nero executed some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. But, listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here. But you... you seem very lost. And in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. You patronizing twat. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the Magistrate. That pompous old bore won't be Magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh -huh. uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Right, I'm just gonna Right, so there's some sort of treasure and whereby earlier I was able to knock statues over and now can't knock statues over in order to get in there and find out what's what. Very weird. Okay. Now, where have they gone to? Oh, she's buggering off down there. And he's gone somewhere. Oh, I just stepped in fire. Is this him... Right, that wasn't me looking up their skirt. I just wanted to see if they were going to talk. Nope, you can't push them off either. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. 
Follow me. Okay. Where's the other guy gone? So where did that guy go? That's what I want to know. Why would I want to examine a loaf of bread? I'm taking it. I'm stealing your bread. <coughs> right. And who on earth is this? Me, huh? Ew. Um, I like the look of the world. I like kind of the idea behind it. I'm trying to remember what the Skyrim mod was. Ooh. Oh, shit. You are dead. Continue from last save. Okay. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Right. Uh, salve, friend. Uh, you know. <laughs> I gotta do all this again. Seriously, no. It's 817 AUC. Sorry. Hey, but you seem live by... Not live, but our magistrate. So then, are you coming? Yeah, lead the way. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living there. <sighs> but, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. It says tap X to follow your guide. At the moment, if you count the three who are missing, no idea how, since nobody knows a way out, but it's just big and dark enough to get lost in if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old bore won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Okay. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Uh -huh. uh, don't mind, Olivia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live. So, don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Follow me. Right. Okay. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. 
They just divided us into groups of ten. Made us draw straws. And whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten Ugh, this would place die has become a for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Yeah, I can't stand it when dialogue overlaps between characters. I mean, it goes on in things like Fallout and Skyrim and stuff like that. It really pisses me off. One thing that takes me out of the immersion from a game is shit like that. Uh, another thing is not having the time to read something that's on the screen. Just put a button option there. Once I've finished reading it, then... I'll fucking move forward and read the next thing. Uh, now I feel like I've got to go and talk to her now because she opened her gob. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. Well, you sound like a twat. Well, visually, very nice. I like what's what's been done here and obviously uh, you know as they mentioned at the start it seems like it's a small studio three people alright I'm assuming this guy up there is the magistrate Sentius's chest. Oh, now if I if I steal that, will somebody know? So if I save game, new save. There we are. Steal. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I don't get this. What, what did I do? It says the statues are alive. Follow the magistrate. Magistrate sent you a search. No items. What the fuck? Right, so I've earned a trophy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to load the game. And I'm not going to steal. Because I'm not going through that fucking dialogue again. If this is one of those games where the slightest wrong move. If, it, if I've got to save every decision and every two minutes, uh, I'm just going to get bored. Note from Centilla. Centilla to Centinius, may Jupiter Optimus Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise I will wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Centia as my sister. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you can just show them the strong and depend on the dependable man i know you to be you would be re-elected i'm sure of it okay citizen 
Yes. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Mm. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. It is beautiful, yes. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Can't say I have. Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Holy fuck! Okay. <clears throat> right, what counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. Mm. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Okay. Let's, let's answer with this. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. 
No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric. Okay, let's 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 yeah. Don't your laws, <coughs> don't your laws allow slave ownership? Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Oh, I'll just put my mistake. <laughs> this, yeah, this seems like it's. I have made my pronouncement. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Fucking hell, I could be here all day. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, I don't care. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden? Yeah. No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Right, okay. Um Do you know what? <laughs> Part of me does not care. I don't know if I care. I really don't know if I care. Um It seems like this is going to be very, very long-winded. It's not going to be... Uh, an exciting video. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll take your word for it, shall we? So, what I'll do then? Oh, there's. Oh, another one fresh out of the. Oh, fuck off, you stupid little cunt! What I'm going to do? Um. I'm going to save the game here. Overwrite, yes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal something and see if I maintain Right, hang on, hang on. Right, let's see what I've got. How, how do I find my inventory? How do I know what I've got on me? All right, there we are, there we are. Right, inventory, another one. Denaris, plural denarii, an ancient Roman coin made of silver. So I've got a coin, I've got a tablet. So if I search this and steal, the and then run, Oh shit, I've done it wrong. Um, what I need to do now is I need to see if I can get past here, steal whatever's in here. Old chest, take 4,000 of them, fletched arrow. Old chest. Get out the fucking way, you 
twat. Right, I need to leg it now. And then, provided I survive, when I come back, oh no, ah. I wanted to see if I could put something onto his dead body. But then if it's not here on the ground, it wouldn't matter. Right. So, inventory. I've kept them. So I could, in theory, keep doing that over and over and over and over. Yeah, I could make millions by doing it over and over and over. And I kind of don't know if I want to bother. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? Uh, I don't. And we fucking have. Oh, I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Glarius, and you're about to offer to take me to see. Sentius, so he can tell me about the golden rule. Oh, Bacchus, how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem, I have to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Zipline handlebar. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. Okay. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to testify. Uh -huh. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Right. All right, see you around. Right, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, is there any way of being, of sealing something closer to that room? And if I can keep stealing from that chest, although saying that, I could just spend the time stealing from the chest and find out there's actually nothing in the game to buy. I did not do it. Hello? Um. Hello? Uh. Jesus wept. Hello? Yeah. I'll, oh, yeah, no. bye bye. I'll be going now. I'm just looking for something to steal. Help! You have to do no, something. I don't. A man arrived in the baths, a real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. Right. None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. You'll just have to improvise. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. 
Why haven't I got control? The shrine is collapsing. Okay. Loaf of bread. Yep. She's brown bread. Right, so what's in here then? I'm trying to find something to steal. So there's a guy in here with a bow and arrow. Ah, oh, me. Stop right there. I'm looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know no. who he is? I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders <sighs> from Nero himself to find and... I don't care. ...the cultist Quinctius. Skip but line. So, if you... T is that understood? You are not off to a good start. When I ask you a question, I expect an answer. I would choose my next... Ah, then you're of no use. So kill me then? Do you have any last words? Ah, as a matter of fact, I do. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So let's try and do this again. Oh, chest take denaries and fletched arrow. But this time, go around the corner. And if I bring this up and I got inventory, loaf of bread, select. How do I eat this? I eat it. That's weird. Why would it? I can't. Continue from last save. Oh, don't tell me where the save was now. Oh, it was that. Fucking div. Um. Right, I wanted to get in there, didn't I? So. Right, okay. Mind. 
Dun 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 dun. Search steel. Go. The many shall suffer for the sins of the young. Get out the fucking way, you twat! Ah, oh, fuck off! Oh, fucking hell! Right. Trust? Of course. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So, I've done that. So, if we do save game, I've overwritten it. So, I need to go around. Now, why would it allow me to steal fletched arrows if no weapons are allowed? Okay, let's just see what the dialogue says this time. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? Uh, I don't think... Uh... Yeah, whatever. So how do I attach this thing right? Okay. Wasn't an awful lot quicker, was it? Let's be honest. Ow. Let's see what's in the bottom of this lake. So what's the point in taking bread if you can't eat it? Hang on, take item. So it's th that's not theft then, if that's the case. But looking at my inventory, I've got 8,000 denarii now. So I 
technically could just keep doing that over and over. Right, fuck this. Yeah. I'm done. I don't know if this is the kind of thing I'd actually play. Out of curiosity's sake. I'm interested in finding out what the story's all about and what, what it leads to and all the decisions. But then I could just watch somebody else play in it whilst I play something else myself, which isn't very dialogue heavy or not as dialogue heavy as this anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah. OK, that's 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 me done. And that's the video done. So. Goodbye.